，来，王二一开始。大少爷，不好了，你太太失踪了。什么？那个，稍等，那个灯，嗯。对于演员、导演，还有包括制作团队来说，都是一个非常好的一个机会。像现在高爱林老师，然后王晶导演，他们都已经参与到《小程序》这个短剧的拍摄当中了。基本上是在十四到十八个小时。我们大概是八十集，然后一百五十五场戏，拍只有七天时间。就有的时候我这边拍摄的时候，同时在筹备下一个戏。Hurry, take your blood to start negative. Disgust me. You're not my alpha. 开始。These micro series are formatted to be viewed vertically or in portrait mode on a handheld device. They have very quickly become exceedingly popular online. Even if you haven't seen one, you may have heard friends talk about "Never Divorce a Secret Billionaire Heiress" or "Faded to My Forbidden Alpha." Data from the China National Radio and Television Administration show that there were nearly 2,800 micro series produced in 2022, up 600% year on year. According to data from iMedia, an internet-based analysis and research group, the market value of micro series produced in China reached 37.39 billion yuan in 2023, more than two and a half times larger than in 2022. In terms of production and studios, there are probably more than 100 crews operating in the town of Hengdian in Zhejiang Province, home to one of the world's largest film production facilities. 比如说这青芒果片场，每天八九个组挤在里边拍，就是这边有杀青的，有开机的，有杀青的，有开机的，总不间断的。啊，所以说它还是很有市场。Micro series are also very popular in the United States. Real Short, an HD streaming platform, surpassed TikTok to claim the top spot on the U.S. iOS entertainment chart for a few days in November. It's the advantage of it. It's the speed 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 of it. The streaming platform tells you that the ride is over and you have to pay for more. There are generally two ways to pay: you can either subscribe, pay monthly or annually, or you can pay by episode. As early as November 2022, the China National Radio and Television Administration started a special ratification campaign for online microdrama apps. 国家广播电视总局小程序类网络微短剧治理工作。Within three months, around 25,300 microdramas containing content that was deemed to be explicit, of low taste, or contain vulgar aesthetics were taken down. Further regulations were issued last month, along with a blacklisting mechanism. In addition to NRTA regulation. The Cyberspace Administration of China began a new campaign on December 12th, focusing on false information and improper behavior in short videos. From the last year, we actually have a lot of short films. This year, we have a lot of short films. This year, we have a lot of short films. This year, we have a lot of short films. This year, we have a lot of short films. This year, we have a lot of short films. This year, we have a lot of short films. 我们说，二零一五年是网大的这个元年。现在互联网时代，我们又产生了短剧，那今年可能就是这个元年。嗯，迎来爆发期之后，固定是要会有一个规范化和精品化的一个趋势。Vertically formatted micro series will most definitely benefit from the experiences of the previous generation of horizontally formatted online movies. These short series can be more than just humorous. For example, a three-episode series titled "Escape from the British Museum" tells the story of how a Chinese cultural relic finds its way back to China. Its hashtag garnered over 310 million views only on Sina Weibo within a week. Actually, Wang Da used a lot of years to go back to the old ways, but this will be faster. It will be a year to go back to the old ways. Now, because there are so many. 啊，大的演员啊，大的团队啊，都去做精品化的东西，可能有的拍十天、十五天，投资会越来越高，要求也会越来越高。And for the micro series market, some producers and studios have only seen the, the tip of the iceberg. 一些目前比较播放率比较高的一些短剧的后台来看的话，我们是能够看到它真实的一个波动值的观影人数大概在三百到五百万的一个人数区间，但是其实平台的 VIP 受众。
是能够达到一点五亿人次左右，甚至是更高，所以它未来的这个蓝海非常非常庞大，这个也是我比较看好的。我个人感觉啊，可能明年的发展可能就不是说单纯的去充值去赚这个钱的一个风口了，可能是慢慢也会有广告效应啊，是这种的，嗯，短剧模式。